Mental health is true wealth, y'all. Now, before I get started, I want to say that I'm completely aware of the fact that therapy and counseling are a privilege. Before I started going to therapy, I didn't think that it would be an option for me. I know I mentioned in my birth control video already, but I have a super basic health insurance plan and therapy is definitely not covered in it. So I just didn't think it was going to be in the cards for me for a really long time. So I totally understand if therapy is something that you don't have access to right now or you can't afford right now, but I just wanted to share why I think it is such a great, great thing that if you ever have the chance to do, I highly encourage it. I actually have therapy in 30, 34 minutes. I'm gonna have to rush this video, so sorry if the audio in the background is bad, but I ain't got time to pause. So the counseling center that I go to does sliding scale payments, which means that they base the price of your sessions um, off of your income. And the place that I go to is sort of built on the idea that mental health or mental care is a right, not a privilege. I'll actually read you their mission statement right now. I'll put the information for the counseling center that I go to down in the description. I go to the Southern California Counseling Center. Um, I don't feel like that's information that I should hide. Also, this video is not sponsored. I just think that it's such a great thing. I wanted to share it with you guys. So the mission for this counseling center is we change lives and strengthen communities by providing affordable mental health care to people in need. The Southern California Counseling Center was founded in 1966 on a simple principle. We believe mental health care is a right, not a privilege. All of our services are designed to serve marginalized, underserved communities and people in need who have difficulty accessing, accessing and affording quality mental health services. It's incredible. The mental health care professionals there are either in training or they volunteer their time and it's just such a beautiful and, and wonderful community to be a part of and I'm so grateful that I was able to get in there for counseling, therapy, whatever you want to call it. So the first reason I really love therapy and I think everyone should give it a try is because you can just be 100% vulnerable in the room. I can talk about everything, I can talk about nothing. I can just be myself and my therapist doesn't judge me. I have such incredible friends and mentors, but it's not their job to be my therapist. And it's just nice to have someone where like, I can talk about anything and not feel like I'm taking up someone's time or being judged. Like I can just be myself and we can work through my issues together. Another reason I love therapy is because it's an hour out of the day that is 100% dedicated to me. I sort of lose time when I'm in there because it's just like I'm talking so much so fast um, and I'm not checking my phone or worrying about work or worrying about other people. Like that time is dedicated to me and I think that's so important. And that doesn't have to be therapy. That could be exercising or meditating or whatever it is. But taking that time from me and making myself a priority, I just feel so much better when I come out of it. Like, you should always take time for yourself. And like I said, if therapy isn't in the cards for you, maybe that's meditating, maybe that's reading, maybe that's just going on a walk, but that is so important for your mental health and I just can't stress that enough. Another reason I love therapy, which I think is a common misconception about therapy, you know, people think that you go in there and they tell you what to do. That's honestly like the first time I went in there, I sort of just like, spewed out a bunch of stuff and I was expecting my therapist, um, Ben, to like just tell me how to fix it and that's not it at all. They sort of guide you and help you talk through your, your issues and come to conclusions on your own, which is a much more constructive way to, <coughs> I think, solve your problems. And now in my day-to-day -day life, I do that when I'm not in therapy. They ask questions and give you a different perspective, but it's not like, well, I have this problem, this is how you're gonna fix it. It's not that at all. They're sort of just like letting you come to these conclusions. And sometimes I have these moments where I like say these things and, and Ben asks me questions and we sort of talk through it. And I'm like, one really great example of this is I was expressing to him how I just like don't feel worthy of certain people or jobs or, or just things in my life. And he just simply asked like, what? could you do right now or what could you have right now that would make you more worthy and I couldn't answer the question and it was just like in that moment I realized that I am worthy of people's love and, and the opportunities that I have and that was whoo if you thought I was an emotional person before that had me bawling but it's just things like that like 
deep down you know these things but it just it just takes someone giving you a different perspective or asking you a question that maybe you would never have asked yourself and it's just really really helpful my therapist gives me an unbiased opinion he's not part of my day-to-day -day life he doesn't have personal relationships with the people that i'm talking about so it's not like anything is really clouding his judgment so for me that just gives me a peace of mind because i know that his advice or guidance isn't based on what he knows about anyone or anything because he doesn't know anything about them i wouldn't consider myself a confrontational person at all i avoid confrontation at all costs but I am very emotional. And in just the past couple of months that I've been in therapy, I've really learned how to think through things and, and work through things on my own before acting on them. I know I'm the type of person when things don't feel right, I kind of want to fix it right in the moment and like, we need to talk about this right now and, and, and this, this isn't okay. And that isn't always the best way to work through things and not everyone operates like that not everybody wants to talk about things when you want to talk about them so it's really nice to know that i can like work through things on my own and i don't need people to to problem solve i'm really grateful that i live in a small part of the world where therapy and and counseling is really not frowned upon at all it is super encouraged i feel like 90% of my friends are in therapy right now, which has really pushed me to do it. So I also understand that that's another privilege I have, that I can just like openly talk about this with people around me and not feel like I'm, I'm being judged or ashamed. But I'll say this, if anyone in your life, or anyone at all, is shaming you for wanting to get the mental care that you deserve and need, those people are not friends. Do not ever feel ashamed for wanting to seek help. It is a big step to take and it's a brave step to take and um, there's just absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. I have now about 10 minutes to head to the counseling center. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about um, the counseling center that I go to or just like my experiences in therapy, I'm super open to talking about it. So just ask me questions down below or DM me if you don't want them to be public. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. I will see you next Friday. <laughs>